Previously on The Walking Dead. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I taught him. To always aim for the head. Damit ein herzliches Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Walking Dead, die zweite Episode der vierten und letzten Staffel. Nachdem AJ Marlon erschossen hat, bin ich mal gespannt, was jetzt auf uns zukommt. Spontan würde ich aber sagen, nichts Gutes. AJ ist weg. Ah, okay. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? Oh shit. Yeah, what's that? What's that? What's that? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin yeah. was bad. He killed Brody. He... Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. You know. When you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. Good What are we gonna do? Under control. I talked Marlin down. Then he murdered my fucking friend. Take AJ. Go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, 
Just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. To little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon yeah, in the fucking so skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Not ever. Promise? Cross my heart. And hope to fly? That's almost right. I don't want them to be scared of me, or... Or hate me. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck? And you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Fuck? Screw both of you. What willst du denn? Du hast uns mit der Waffe bedroht. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. You know. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Ach Gott. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. Yeah, I Clem. think you're okay. Oh, you sure you don't sure. want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. Oh, man. <sighs> this is going to be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Hoffentlich oh, klappt das. So, jetzt können wir uns nochmal umgucken und damit nochmal ein herzliches Willkommen zu der zweiten Episode von Walking Dead. Ähm, bei meinem Wissensstand, was ich jetzt habe, hat sich ja Telltale Games aufgelöst. Und 
Ich habe aber gelesen, dass Episode 3 und 4 von diesem Spiel noch fertiggestellt werden. Ob das jetzt stimmt oder ob das jetzt wirklich so ist, weiß ich nicht. Ich hoffe es auf jeden Fall. Weil ähm, ich möchte wissen, wie es zu Ende geht. Time to go. Soon. Ich möchte echt wissen, wie es zu Ende geht. Ich habe drei Staffeln durchgehend ge mitgefiebert und jetzt ist das Finale da. Das ist das finale Spiel und ich möchte unbedingt wissen, wie es zu Ende geht. Deswegen hoffe ich einfach, dass es weitergeht. Ready? Mit Episode 3 und 4. Aber erstmal noch nicht an die Zukunft denken, sondern jetzt das hier machen. Oh, die, wir haben die Käppi vergessen, sehe ich gerade. Bitte. Geht ja gar nicht. Hoffentlich kommen wir nochmal zurück. Ich glaube zwar ja nicht, aber... Ach Gott. Geht zur Beerdigung. Ja, wir wissen ja, wo der Friedhof ist. Oh Mann, ey. Scheiße. Okay, R1 gedrückt hat, um zu rennen. Wow, die Blutlage liegt hier immer noch. I did that. Come on. Ja, darfst du nicht so ernst nehmen, Mensch. Oh, uh, das wird jetzt schwierig. Das wird jetzt schwierig. Ich bin jetzt mal gespannt, was jetzt auf uns zukommt. Und wie die anderen Leute auf uns reagieren. Oh, die Arme. Oh Gott, they're here. So what? The new Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin. Just leave them alone. Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them more, they died. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. But they're dead. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals too. Even monsters. Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Oi, oi, oi. Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. He just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, that's on it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut, Shut up! up. It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Whoa, everything that happened was Marlin's fault, not yours. No, but I should have pushed harder. Or tried. I don't know. You couldn't have known he was lying to you. See what I mean? 
How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. What the hell? Jordy decides. They stay or they leave. Today.